genes are expressed into messenger RNA and whenever we talk about gene expression uh, generally we mean the messenger RNA sequences so normally we can get those messenger RNAs through different techniques like microarray or nowadays uh, another famous technique is now is uh, being established is called RNA seq so mainly the microarray and the RNA seq data uh, we can classify it as an gene expression data so gene expression databases they store uh, that gene expression data uh, so basically these are the public repositories uh, for archiving and storing the gene expression data. Uh, these data are Miami complacent. Uh, Miami is basically, it's, it's not Miami city in USA, it's an abbreviation. So basically you can look into uh, over the internet, I have placed some, uh, some links to it. Uh, it's uh, minimum information about a microarray experiment. So whenever you need to submit a, uh, a microarray experiment over there, you need to give us, for example, the descriptions that how the samples they were prepared, um, then normalization methods uh, which you have used, and then uh, the other um, counts and normalized files also in it. So while keeping in view these uh, rules, these database sets have different uh, different records in it. Uh, basically, it is convenient uh, for deposition of gene expression data, and this GEO, uh, which is required by different funding agencies, and we can also it's a curated resource for gene expression data and uh, where we can browse and query the and analyze this kind of data. So here is a page for uh, GEO, which is Gene Expression Omnibus under NCBI. You can uh, go into NCBI and then you can look into GEO databases which are having different GEO data sets. We can have expression profiles where we can see the change in expression of genes across different treatments and then we can also analyze this expression data. There is a tool called as GEO2R. We can uh, use BLAST in it. Uh, we'll talk about that later. GEO has four kinds of records, uh, four kinds of data, uh, data files. Uh, keeping in view the Miami rules uh, where GSM these files they store the sample information like how the samples are prepared how the treatments are given how the experimental design was established uh, the idea about the platforms uh, they are stored in GPL files uh, so where we can see whether it's microarray data if it is RNA-seq data or what kind of microarray data is it there are different protocols coming from different uh, agencies so uh, we can have that information um, different uh, uh, sometimes different treatments uh, they are recorded as separate files so GSC are the file where we can have the similar treatment files uh, they are put together in a shape of a series so series are um, a set of samples which are somehow related whereas the actual data is stored as GDS files uh, which are the actual data sets. So here is again uh, we are back to this page of GEO and if we look into different types of data it have we can have series if you look towards the top right side uh, we can have different series we can have the records for different platforms and we can have the records for different samples. If you look into the types of the series here different types are there for example there is expression profiling by array and in our course we will be getting some RNA-seq data so that is under this expression profiling by high throughput sequencing same way there are different other techniques used for getting the expression which are also listed down below and number of data sets available to them are also present in this column called as count um, if you want to look into some data set you can simply type say for example we want to know about colon cancer RNA-seq data we just type it in the search box and then it leads us to a set of uh, records which it, it gets. Then we click on to one of them and we are here in this file. So here uh, that is the information about that particular data set, the top one. Uh, each data set is submitted as a series and there is a unique number. Uh, say for example here we see GSE57043. So that is actually the ID, ID number for this data set. So if we look into this page, we can have the idea about the experiment, the organism from which it's coming, and then the type of experiment, a little bit summary 
of the experiment and then we can also see the contributors names and their publications and addresses uh, this is a big page so I chopped off into two sections so here we have the uh, bottom part of the same page since all GEO submissions uh, they need to be associated with the platform so platform information is here we get those sequences which are sequenced by machine Illumina HiSeq 2000 uh, you will know about that later in some lectures down below there are six samples total in this data set so individual samples are put together labeled as GSM we can also download these sequences I mean those counts of uh, expression counts or values in different formats here are the normalized counts in this box so normally they are compressed files and the big ones the raw read data they are present as in this format which we call it as SRA or sequence read or sequencing read archive so that stores the raw read data these publications you need to mention about since funding and the publication agencies they require your data to be submitted and shared with the community so here is an example where we can see there is a publication and then they put this GSE into their publication so some the other scientists they can get access to this data using that uh, ID number and if you are submitting your paper you need to provide this information to the uh, publication agencies so we conclude that gene expression omnibus GEO is a public repository uh, for archiving and uh, retrieving uh, gene expression data and it is the best resource where we can get the microarray or RNA-seq data.